Hey guys, it's Joseph here, back on Joe Stuff, and I am excited about today's video because I'm going to be reviewing this right here. This is the 1999 Lego Naboo Starfighter set 7141. And yeah, I'm really excited about doing this because it's an old set, one of the oldest Lego uh, Star Wars sets, because Lego Star Wars started in 1999 so I uh, yeah so this was really cool to get this set you may notice it's not complete the one I got was not complete it if you notice here if you know anything about the set you'll see that it doesn't come with that little side build or the two battle droids and you may also notice other things like part missing here and here on the bottom but most of it's here and I was lucky enough to get the instruction book with it, which was really cool to get an old instruction book like this. Nothing too special about it, just different, just a little bit different in the way it was made and the way it shows how to build the things. It's cool to get that. And yeah, on the back here it just says and copyright 1999 Lego Group, so it's cool. But uh. I think the set, even though it was a really old one, or is a really old one, is still good. I think it looks pretty good, even though it was made such a long time ago, and they've come out with better ones. If you have, you may have seen my uh, my uh, Lego review for the other Naboo Starfighter, the uh, 2011 version, and right up there if you want to watch it. But uh. I will be doing a comparison video pretty soon about this. If you're watching this in the future, then it's already out, probably. But anyway, you can see how it's all prints. Anything you see, any decoration, which is actually that, that, and that, and also the little console in there, which I can show you here. Oh yeah, this coming off is something I'll tell you about in a second. But I don't know if you can see that little console, that's also printed. They didn't do stickers back then. Back then it was just all prints, which was nice. And still is. I wish they would still just do all prints, because that would be better. But uh, I guess it's cheaper to do the uh, stickers. Anyway, one thing not very good about the set is these. The back. Those can come out pretty easily. They aren't held in there very well. Same with the other one. It may just be because the parts are old, I don't know. But they kind of just flop around, so... That isn't very good. And so for the engine side pieces here, they used... Oops, the piece came off there. They used these larger, like, block engine pieces. You can go see my build video, which has been released onto YouTube. And you can see more close-up if you don't know what that part is. But it's basically just this big round engine piece. Or big thing and it can just snap off so you can pretend it like gets hit by lasers and blows off the engines or something if you want to play that and as you notice the other side came off again so I'm just gonna leave it off for now it has these two little green cone pieces for like little blaster things and then here it has this little missile thing now there's supposed to be a uh, another 2x4 brick, but I have not added any of my own. These are all actual, as far as I know anyway, I bought this from eBay, so, but as far as I know, these are all actual parts from the original one, and I didn't add any parts to what I got, so, but there's this little missile thing you can pretend to launch off if you want. As you can notice, the other one of the side things came off. The parts are a bit old, so they can't, they don't really stay together quite as well as they used to, and I'll show you here. Some of the parts have kind of gotten discolored with age. I don't know if you can see any of that in there. The prints have stayed really well though. And I did get this really nice 1999 R2D2. I will be I, I know it's fuzzy, but I'll show you the minifigures in more detail later. I will be probably doing a um, R2D2 minifigure comparison later in a later video because I have several different versions of it now. The uh, R2-D2 minifigure is just held in by that uh, little 2x2 two two plate. And the Anakin is held in with 
a little one by two plate and a little grill piece. And then there's this little cockpit canopy piece right here. It's different than the newer one. There's no hinge parts on it. It's just stuck down like that right there. So if you want to pretend it's like opened or something, like coming open, then you can sort of like stick it forward like that and then like like that or whatever. And yeah, I'm just going to stick these back on because they keep coming off. Anyway, so there's not, that's about all to see about this. And this part up here, I'll show you this right here. It's uh, kind of high, if you notice. This is a bit of a problem in most of the Nebu Starfires they made. Is this part's kind of tall and strange looking compared to the normal one. Just a little bit. This one is a little more than the newer ones. But they're trying to make the whole R2-D2 fit in there without having to just like take the dome piece off and set it there. But it's nice how they can get the, you can get the whole R2-D2 on there. Good thing about the older sets like this was that when they were released, they were much cheaper because of the smaller part count. I'm not exactly sure how many parts this has in it, but I know it has a lot less parts than the newer 2011, and that one has even less than the newer, even newer 2013. I do kind of wish they would come out with a new Nabu Starfighter because, of course, 2013 was a while ago and it's discontinued by now. But, uh, so, yeah, I think this is actually a, not a bad set. And like I said, I'll be doing a comparison between the, uh, the middle one, which is the 2011 version, and the old one, which is this one right here. So, I hope you liked this pretty short review of this set. Come back for more later on. See you later.